Hello, this is Wes Diskin with Baron Heating Company and BaronGreenTeam.com. Uh, this one is pretty exciting. This is the uh, our first install of a true hybrid Daikin system with the uh, Daikin Envy uh, stat. Since then, we've done a bunch more, but it's the first one I've been back to and uh, ran through all the settings myself and, and all that. So right now, we have this house. I come back. This used to be a dynamite factory. So the whole thing is concrete, it's crazy. Lots of drilling. But this is the house we had, we have an apartment here. So this section, then we have the house here and that's where we have these two outdoor units. These guys happen to have three separate electrical services. So they got three different rebates. So we just split it up with single units. Um, and you'll see more of what we did. Sorry, I'm a lot of breath. But this is the main house unit, two tons. Apartment, one ton. And then over here, I'll take you up here real quick because in the main house I want to show you what we did uh, integrating the Daikin single head L series 24 to um, a electric furnace on the inside both are integrated together if you're familiar with heat pumps and all electric heat pump systems they're operating exactly the same except it's a ductless system so it has automatic auxiliary heat backup this is the uh, shop loft apartment You'll see one ton unit, speedy channel. Up there I'll take you to the head. This is a almost finished section. So we have the head there. Now I chose that location. Some of you might say, well, why aren't we centered on that wall? And the issue is, is that the Remember, the, there's always this dead zone here. So if I go too far over, then I don't get as much push this way. Plus I wanted to be able to see, instead of being trapped behind this wall here, I wanted to be able to see more of this space and get some of my louver action back into that corner. We have electric heaters in here in the back, but we just wanted to take the edge off with the ductless. So that worked well. <laughs> oh. I just got done running around doing all the quality control, so I'm a little winded. But, uh, so as we head back to the house, remember, you heard it correctly, we've got a Daikin single head directly wired into an electric furnace backup that is set on the same parameters as an all-electric heat pump system. So I've got strip heat lockout at 40 degrees, I've got minimum runtime of the furnace, I've got maximum runtime of the ductless, I've got um, droop, so if the ductless is running and it senses a half a degree drop that it can't keep up, it'll turn the auxiliary heat on, etc. So as we come in, one of the things that's real exciting too is that this furnace was freakishly loud when uh, we started and now it's super quiet. So this is the uh, Daikin NV stat. Um, if you go to daikinac.com and um, click on their residential section, you can get down and do all that. You can even do a demo on your iPad, etc. But this uh, thermostat was created by Ecobee. And um, the one thing I really like about Wi-Fi systems is that they self-update. So if there's a little thing that they want to change, better user interface, more features, it'll just self-update and uh, do it itself. So we have the stat there. This is our head here. You'll notice that, I mean, it's just, it's a great location as far as just being able to communicate to everything. I got real lucky, I got, a, I got an attic back in there that's real open, so I was able to run all my lines in there. And then you have the kitchen here, et cetera. Um, the furnace, so what we did is there was this old Wesco furnace in here, and it was, it was really, really loud. I mean, it really was. And it wasn't necessarily the furnace. It was the configuration of the ducting, etc. So we replaced that with a Coleman two-ton electric furnace. Just your simple box, filter access. Everything's masticed, of course. But what happened was is that as you went up into the attic, the whole thing was all metal with no sound lining or anything all the way to the return. And that was a louvered grill that had very little airflow through it. So we changed that to commercial. And then I put in a flex, so I took out a, lot, a big chunk of metal and basically put in a flex um, bypass, like a connector, 
just to get rid of all that s sound dampening because the airflow wasn't an issue inside the duct. It was just the fact that I was just straight metal throughout the whole home. I could hear the furnace running all the way in the back in the register back there. So in this case, um, what we did down in the crawl space is I also took some of these registers, like this one was a screamer here. Um, I took those and put little flex uh, connections on those, um, etc. So we did what we could to dampen sound. That was one of the things that was paramount uh, to that. Right now, our head is on high speed. Some of the things people ask me is how loud can it get? Well, here it is. I'll be quiet. So gauge, so looking at the volume, I'm talking at a normal volume. Now I'm going to whisper. So can you hear that? I'm whispering right now. Okay. So that's what you want to take from your, your computer volume. You can barely hear me when I whisper. Here we go with the noise. So I can hear it. You know, that's the thing you gotta understand is that they're not invisible, especially the big ones. Little ones, I mean, they're real quiet. Big ones, they can push some serious air and they're supposed to, okay? This kind of volume, you wanna have something that can churn. But, um, so, you know, volume-wise, that's what you're looking at. Um, and size-wise, you know, it's 41 inches wide. So a lot of times we'll do the smaller one and then just use more as, get less displacement, but we have a smaller head size. We do get more efficiency um, out of a smaller unit. So in here, this is the apartment. Okay, so if I go to the head and I'm looking, it's pretty awesome because I've got the bedroom there. I've got the kitchen here, living room area. Right now we have this unit in cooling. And this one, I'll prove to you that it's on. Hopefully you got some wind noise there. Yeah, it doesn't make any noise. So, you know, a lot of people, I've seen this in design where they come into a space like this and because they don't know anything about these, they'll say, you know, wow, big air's better. Put in a 15, you know, I got a 12 here. Put in a 15 KE series or something stupid. And uh, the problem with those is that the blowers are so big that you don't get the kind of even temperature that you're looking for because this loop is too small. This air is going to go well, whoomp and back to the head and the head because it senses temperature in the indoor head. Now remember, I forgot to say that about the Envy. The Envy has true heating and cooling auto mode. Heads don't do so well with that. Okay, So when you have um, a head like this, you and you, it's sensing the temperature here instead of in a thermostat like it, out at the Envy. You really want it to have as slow as it can go is the best because if it completes this loop too fast, then the indoor sensor turns off the head and says, I'm good, but it hasn't pushed into these back areas yet. Okay, so that's really, really important from a uh, placement design. So that's a 12k, just purring along, I'll get you right up close. Okay, no mechanical noise whatsoever. So again, anything's possible. The other cool part about this is that now we have Wi-Fi control of this unit, which means we can go on vacation, control it from there, turn it on if it's a vacation house. And I don't have to worry, you know, if someone tells you that with a ductless, if you have a furnace, if they tell you that you have to go over and turn the thermostat on if you need heat, and they, they don't know enough because this is going to do it automatically. It's gonna sense that the heat pump is having trouble and it's gonna automatically turn my furnace on if I need it. And the customer has full control of that as well. They can just say, ah, I'm so cold today, I just wanna you know, run. But I mean, honest to God, I can't stand under this thing right now. It's pumping out so much heat. It's gotta be 130 degrees. So you do get really good heat out of the ductless. So that is the, I got two, two one-ton systems, a two-ton system. It's integrated with the Daikin Envy into an electric furnace system that's in the house, the main house. And uh, thank you for watching.